The bike and walking path around Marine Drive and I-5 in North Portland now being called the new Springwater Corridor. North Portland residents say it's because of the influx of homeless people living right off the bike path. Our Jennifer Dowling is live now. She has more details for us. Jen? Good afternoon. I'm near that bike path, and as you can see, I'm surrounded by shopping carts containing camping gear. There's even some carts hidden there in those trees just off to my right. Now, residents here say this is a problem that's exploded, and some blame the sweeps on the Springwater Trail. I'm en route to Seattle eventually, and uh, I just, you know, it's a stopover. I needed to make some money. Situated near I-5 and Marine Drive, the bike path here has become a well-traveled route for folks like Rick Cayetti. I packed my stuff up, I put it in the bush, and I thought I'd go pick up some bottles and cans. He says he's been sleeping by the railroad tracks near the Marine Drive bike path. His biggest frustration, the number of messy campers. It's a shame that they don't clean up after themselves. I always say that if you uh, can uh, haul it in there, you should be able to haul it out. Residents, business owners, and even the homeless here tell me that since the city started sweeping the Springwater Corridor, the bike and walking path near Marine Drive has become a much more desirable location to camp. Do you think this is the new Springwater Corridor? Yes, I think it's easier to hide in this area. Runner Tyler McBeth feels that this path isn't patrolled as often as the Springwater Trail, giving campers a better chance of sticking around longer. And there are less cyclists, walkers, and runners to report problems. I definitely think it's because it's not as used as frequently. A private security guard who didn't want us to use his name says he was hired to keep a growing amount of trash and campers away from diversified marine. Other businesses situated near the I-5 overpass agree it's been a challenge. Campers tell me that probably won't change anytime soon. This is about the only other place when they have they're camping over there too. But yeah, it's there's not very many places to go in, in Portland, I guess. And we've seen a lot of folks going back and forth with cans in these shopping carts. In fact, one resident tells me that he believes this is a hot camping spot for homeless people because they can return their bottles and cans around here. We'll talk more with him coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. Back to you. All right, Jennifer Dowling, thank you. And